I am genuinely getting concerned about this. We're talking about that vegan teacher today. There's a lot to go through. There's a lot to be said. Without any further ado, grab your snack, grab your drink, and let's talk about this. Roll the intro. Over the period of a few months, I have been realizing a lot more that that vegan teacher is asking people to not only tell where they are, if they're vegan, but their age, everything. Asking for basically everything that to her is internet safe. And I can't show you those screenshots without having to dig for them because she is now deleted some of these things. I have scrolled through it again to f try to find them again to take a screenshot because having to dig for these screenshots would be hours. And I thought to make this video as fast as possible. <sighs> but she keeps asking people for their names, their ages, where they are, saying things like kids and teenagers are better suited to be her moderators because adults are carnists or something like and i've i've shown these in previous videos you have to just jump back maybe a video or two i keep talking about this and it's getting more and more concerning because she keeps asking for it especially saying that kids and teenagers are better suited to be her moderators and then constantly telling people that they can't ask to be a moderator. They can't ask to be a moderator. They have to be told how to be a moderator and then wear the uniform, which is kids and teenagers who she's specifically gunning for to tell their name, their age, where they're at, their city. I even seen people in the comments of the most recent post made, I think six or so hours ago, where they're like, hey, do you want our social security number and our credit card numbers too? Exactly. Why is she asking for these specifically children and kids is this information? And she says that it's internet safe. Why does she feel that she has to put that it's internet safe if she truly feels that it's internet safe? It's not internet safe. Another thing is that she keeps going after creators that want nothing to do with her. People that have not talked about her since she attacked them the first time. Like Call Me Chris or SS Sniper Wolf. She went after someone named Dr. Mike. I don't know who he is. I didn't look into that as much as I would like to. It's been a crazy week. Also, I hope you guys have all been having a wonderful Christmas and holiday season. I'm sorry. I just, I felt like I needed to share this because it is truly concerning that she keeps asking for these people's information like this. Also saying things like, if you feel like something else, you, if you have, every time you see a fruit, think of me. Every time you see a vegetable, think of me. Like, that's not normal behavior to me. And I know a lot of people say that she's just a troll. She's not just a troll. She genuinely believes this stuff. She would not keep letting people, she would not keep harassing people. She wouldn't keep allowing her followers to threaten people. She would not keep allowing the things or saying the things that she does if she truly was just saying these things to play a character, to be a troll, which is what a lot of trolls do. They play a character. Take Nikito Avocado. Take... Trisha Paytas. I'm fairly certain that these are just overblown versions of themselves. That's who trolls are. This woman is different. She is literally asking for kids' information. That already is concerning. Uh, not to mention on top of the reason why she got banned from TikTok was because she was sexualizing a minor. Somebody who was 16 at the time. Because he was a well-known celebrity. He's a well-known YouTuber. This is not... The more and more I keep seeing it, the more it's getting concerning. 
And YouTube really needs to do something because this, this is just getting really out of hand. Also, another thing is now she's trying to be the most massive of hypocrites and is saying that she's being threatened on the daily, that she's being harassed, and that that's not okay. When I was asking for literally months, literally almost an entire year, asking for her to tell her own following, telling her to tell her own subscribers that it's not okay to threaten anyone, that it's not okay to tell them to go die, that it's not okay to constantly harass people in the name of somebody else. Yet it's only okay if she's the one being inflicted, not somebody else. Oh no, she relishes in other people's pain. I know because she decided to take the video of me crying about losing my cosplay account, made me completely lose my love of cosplay, my completely lose my love of TikTok and as a whole, because she took a video of me crying about it, not mentioning, by the way, who was the one harassing me, just saying I had been stalked and harassed for the last eight months at that time. And the only way it relates to her is the fact that that was her YouTube moderator. And she was well aware of it when that account got taken. That's how I know she isn't just a troll. She genuinely believes the things that she does and she genuinely enjoys people's pain. I never wanted to believe it, but the more and more I keep seeing these things, the more concerning it gets. The more that I believe YouTube needs to take notice. She thought 9-11 was a good thing because meat eaters died. She's constantly taking horrific events like 9-11 or Holocaust or just peep things that happen to the LGBT community, the black community, the Jewish community. She's constantly ripping on people that don't deserve to be ripped on for her benefit, for the animals. This isn't about the animals. If this was about the animals, she would be out there filming her protesting. She would be out there filming her working at an animal shelter to help cats and dogs. She doesn't. Instead, she attacks people online every single day and nothing is done about it. People have lost livelihoods because of her. People have went into mental breakdowns because of her. People have cried and lost so much, including myself, because of her. Something needs to be done. This isn't no longer, like, it was never tear drama to me, but I know that's how a lot of people see it. Is drama, or tea, or just internet, whatever. The more she grows a following, the more dangerous it's becoming. She is actively asking for kids' information. And she's been doing it for months. And now she's deleted posts referring to it? That I know I've shown where she's saying that kids have to wear the uniform. They have to put their name, their age, their state, if they're vegan or not. And then specifically saying that these kids and teenagers are better suited than adults to be her moderators. If that doesn't specifically say that she is reaching out to kids, also asking kids to talk to her privately on Instagram. I know I've, I've mentioned that before. All of these things adding up just doesn't look good. It's not okay. And I don't know why more people are not talking about this. Why are not, why are more people not actually being concerned and just treating this as just drama and tea? As just wacky troll strikes again. It's not just trolling at this point. Even if it was in the beginning. She needs help. Like actual help. She needs to get off the internet and get some therapy or something. Instead of pretending to be a therapist like she was on TikTok. She needs to get some help. I don't know what happened to her in 2016 because no one makes a life change like that, especially later in life like she is. No one makes a lifestyle change like that unless something horrible has happened. I want to know what's happened to her and I feel sorry for it. 
but what she's doing now is not okay. She is actively influencing kids to make the very wrong decisions that can affect them much later on in life if somebody took action. I know this is basically just a rant at this point, but if you guys could share this video or make your own videos, talk about it, and send them to this video or to just my channel in general. And I'm not asking that for views. I'm not asking for that for follows, subscriptions, whatever. It's because I'm genuinely concerned for these kids. I'm genuinely concerned, not only for Miss Katie, but anyone else that she's influencing. Sorry if the camera's shaking my cat's on the table. He's, he's itching. But it's genuinely getting concerning. This woman needs to be stopped before something does happen to somebody. Like they wanted to happen to me. They wanted me taken from my home forcefully. They wanted me put in the ground. And the only reason why I didn't do anything is because I wanted to give that kid a chance to be put in therapy. I asked her specifically, Hey, I need this kid's name. I'm not looking to get the law involved. I'm simply looking to just... Can you not? I'm simply looking to just get this kid in therapy because what you're influencing them to do is not okay. There's something wrong that they're actually wanting me gone from this earth. And the fact that you don't care, the fact that you just keep sending me messages and links to documentaries and telling me to Google Darius Scary and tell me what, you, what I've learned. All that tells me is that you are complicit and that you enjoy it. That's all that's telling me. I'm genuinely concerned for these kids that are actually giving you this information. I'm genuinely concerned. And knowing how you've treated minors in the past in your comments, how you react to them and swear at them, that's not okay either. Yeah. I love you all. If you feel like it, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, whatever. I post a video, I talk about a bunch of different things, anime, books, vegan teacher, pop culture stuff, basically whatever I want to do. Um, hit the like, share it, please, if you feel like it as well. I love you all so much. Stay safe out there and have a great day. Happy holidays. Bye.